trade it back here, and then I down her. I'm never gonna live that down. I just absolutely blew up my last round as well. But like, I'm super tilt. I don't care that I nearly six stocked my last round. I'm so fucking tilted right now. It's not even that I was outplayed. I just bat down her when I meant to back here, and that cost me the set. Oh. Just... Yeah, so Peach was doing quite the number on um, jams right now. No, he said he was going to drop Greninja and go for Game and Watch Hero as his co-characters. Yeah. Game and Watch is a sleeper high tier, honestly. Uh. Okay, that downer though, that was a little too over. So, holy crap! Did the up be like connect mid up air or something? That's crazy. It's frame three actually. No, we tested it. Game and what? I mean, Peach Fuzz and I we were in the car on the way back from waves, and we just quickly tested the frame data. It is the fastest up B at a shield in the game. Oh, fastest up B at, in general in the game. Yeah. Oh, much faster than Pac-Man's. Faster than Bowser, Belmont, Cloud, all those guys. Yeah. So, Peach was right now doing a pretty good job. Seems to have gotten in Jams' head a bit, but uh, Jams, not too much, yeah. Smart read, not gonna go for the up smash, would be a little overzealous of him. Uh, right, so, getting juggled right now with the up air, which does not kill, but it is really annoying to get hit by because you're just gonna be stuck in the air for a really long time, especially when you're such a big character like Rob. Back air just using it to get a little bit of horizontal recovery there. Alright, so we're gonna see the gyro into down tilt. Ooh, okay. Yeah. No, yeah. He had the right idea. I just don't think he was anticipating the forward air because the bomb extended the hitbox, so um, Peach was able to get away. Yeah. Yeah, good backer. Alright, so dead even game right now. Oh. Yeah, but Jams is like one of the, one of the better players in the region. Um, he is not a... I mean, he is certainly a force to be reckoned with, but Peach Fuzz. Peach Fuzz turning up. Going full sicko Heyman mode right now. Like, jeez. Oh, just getting juggled. If this were Smash 4, Jams would have been dead a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, good parry, though. Oh. Alright, so we got the up air. Alright, here comes the damage. Oh, reflecting a gyro. Oh, boy, run up down smash, but not going to bury him. Going super low there. Gets the up B. He is. It's still kind of close game. Rob with Rage fighting a really light character like Mr. Game and Watch. Yeah, Jims very easily can turn this around. So uh, Peach Fuzz needs to find a way to close this out really quick. That downer is gonna do it. Wow, excellent stuff there. Albi, Albi, that was sick, Heyman. Oh, okay. Wow. That's so unfortunate. Alright, well, looks like I gotta play Mamoru now.
Let's first to game one. Damn, nice. I one I think the laser is transcendent. Oh. Oh, like, Wolf's, uh... like Wolf's Blaster. Yeah. I, hate that. I think so. Ah, oh, Wolf's Blaster's fine. Anyway, um <laughs> Peach Fuzz at 148%, 156% with a really light character. Really? Any any tap will basically kill him. Oh my god, he's so clutch with this And he's gonna get the edge guard? Good jab, that's not gonna kill, but it'll put him in a good spot. Yep. Jams is gonna go high, Jams always goes high. And the Nair finally kills. I understand why Jams goes high though. It's a lot easier to stop Rob from landing than it is to stop Rob from getting back to the ledge or on stage. It's also easy to land in there, Rob, so if you're gonna be above anybody, you might just go with the No, not quite. Good DI. Going right to the corner. Yep. Rob has a lot of fuel. Especially if he, like, staggers it. Then he can go insanely high. Peach Fuzz cycling the RNG. Nice. And Rob's up throw doesn't usually kill without platform assistance until a bit later, like 150-ish maybe on Game & Watch. It's not super strong, I don't think. Yeah. He's actually a Rob main across every Smash game he plays, and he plays a lot of Smash. He's actually a notable redacted Rob player. Yeah, it'll definitely kill right now. Up air, up air really strong. It's 1-1 one, one now. Yeah, Gems was just in control. Speaking of Nair's really good damage opening up from Peach Fuzz. Already at 65%, now he's ledge trapping with the sausages into the dash attack. Wow, 97% already. And it's still going! He's still going! No. And it's not a zero to death either. Good job reflecting the gyro. It's really hard to edge guard Mr. Game & Watch with projectiles because he can just reflect them back. Ooh! Really good. Yeah, this is a, again, just like game one, like a lot of juggles, just a really good game from Sick Heyman here. Sick Heyman? Sick Heyman. Sick Heyman watch. I wonder how strong the bucketed laser is. Yeah. It's a pretty strong uh, It's one of the more surprising ones. 
Oh! Like, like, he got one segment of it. That's something. I don't think he can fill up a full bucket big laser, that But he does have one segment, so if he shoots another big laser, that could fill it up. if it's two segments, yes. I think the big laser fills two segments. Oh no, he didn't hold it! Maybe a bit too used to playing Wi-Fi, releasing it too early. <laughs> I don't know how much Wi-Fi Peach Fuzz plays. Wi-Fi does have a lot of Rob players, so I can imagine most people's majority of Rob matchup experience comes from Wi-Fi. <laughs> Not the smartest dash attack. And not quite, but another down throw, and that's finally gonna be the kill. And Peach Fuzz has lost his lead. Oh, that's a good forward tilt. Good forward tilt. Oh, and he damages himself. And all right, let's see how Jams can convert off this position. And the down air, damn! Really good by Jams. Same stick, same stick. I think he's gonna stick with Game and Watch unless he's a madman and goes hero. Nope. Yep. Not changing it up at all. He just thinks I gotta play better. So that's what he plans to do. Yeah. Really putting the pressure onto Peach Fuzz. Yeah. But Peach Fuzz, living on and almost bringing it right back. It's almost looking like the opposite of uh, our previous game. Wow, now smash. I feel like Peach Fuzz was kind of hoping for a roll. James still hasn't managed to secure this stock. But of course, Game Watch is so light. Yep, there it is. There is pretty good. There's a good move, I'll say that. <laughs> yeah, but Rob's in particular, a very good move. Yeah, I feel like Rob there is basically just like another Ivy Sword forward air in a way where you just like hand on me and get it. It's better than Ivy Fair. Oh my goodness, another one! Keeps hurting himself. I haven't seen much up tilt when James is kind of putting himself out there too much. I don't see much game watch up tilt. I feel like up tilt is a really good move. James is choosing to just avoid the sausage lunch traps entirely by hovering around them. That was a six set. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't go for the up smash though. Yeah, I guess maybe he was too low. No, up smash is a scooping hitbox. Right. I'm surprised. Maybe he was looking Maybe like he wanted the back, yeah, maybe he wanted the down smash to send backwards. Unfortunately, my co-commentator has to head out. We'll see if we get a replacement. But now, Jams, uh, up in this last game, uh, well, last game, he wants it to be the last game. 
And I have Gonar joining me. Oh no. Yeah, I see that. Move it closer. And that's it. Jams wins. And that means I gotta go. I gotta fight Zyro.